Now, you might think SMS messaging is pretty straightforward and, frankly, even a bit boring compared to all the cool apps you can have on your smartphone these days. But one company out of China might be able to prove you wrong with their hugely popular messaging app, WeChat. Mark Yu has the details. Berkeley student Tong Li is leaving a voice message for his mother at home in Jiangsu Province, China. The communication is completely free through the popular messaging app WeChat. We chat on WeChat uh, among students here to talk about the uh, homework assignments, or about like club meetings, and all, I also like chat with my parents on WeChat. Fellow Chinese student Ashley G used to message with the popular WhatsApp, but switched to WeChat because of the playful emoticons. WeChat, we can like add our own emoticons. We can uh, not only just the. Um, what Tencent provides, but also our own, uh, own design emoticon, so it's really interesting, more personal. Some of the companies that float to the top in terms of revenues, grossing revenues, are actually emoticon companies, but you don't see that in the U.S. market, per se. App Annie measures global app metrics, and Google's Play Store, Facebook Messenger, is the runaway leader among communications app downloads in the U.S. At number six is California-based WhatsApp. On this particular day, WeChat comes in at number 21. Its ranking is lower on the iPhone. But on Apple's platform, WeChat has at one time or another reached number one in 45 different countries, ranging from Madagascar to Mexico. In the U.S., WeChat use is also on the rise. I've used one feature when I was playing around. It's called Look Around, where you just kind of pop, and it'll actually tell you the users that are close by. Yeah, probably a good 80, 90 percent um, of the folks um, were Chinese, which you could kind of tell by the characters. But it was funny to me that I did actually notice a few folks that, that were American. Tencent has several offices in the United States, like this one here in Palo Alto, where it's making a big push to increase its WeChat user base. The company did recently announce that it had 70 million registered users outside of China, a 30 million user jump in roughly three months. Mark New, CCTV, Palo Alto, California.